Hey, uh, I'm going to be creating a tutorial. Uh, oops. Um, it's about uh, creating this kind of effect. Um, ooh, update. Ooh, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, and it's using uh, geometry nodes. And it's actually really simple to do. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, so what you want to do is create a plane. It could be any any shape or whatever, but uh, let's start with a plane. Uh, you need, you know, a decent amount of points on it because that's how it works. Uh, let's go into geometry node. So we're going to create a new geometry node. Let's call it overgrown. Then what we're going to do is, well, we need stuff uh, to detect. So let's create some cubes. All right. We're amazing. All right. So grab the cubes, press M, uh, put it in a new collection. Let's call it detect. Let's make that red just because it's going to help us seeing things. All right, uh, so we go back here, and now what you can do is either drag this, or you can just write collection uh, info. Uh, then you want to realize the instances, uh, or else it's not going to work. Uh, geometry proximity. This is like the most of it. I don't know. Some of you would probably know why it won't work. I it took me a long while to figure out that you need that. Uh, you also need a relative. I don't know if you need separate children actually. Uh, and then we're gonna grab this and drag it in here. So now you've created this. So over here in the outputs, you're gonna see, oh, there you go. So you need to name it something like distance is just for your information. Uh, then I'll call it also like uh, distance. So let's, let's distance, okay. So now if we go to create a material, I'm going to put uh, a little shader guy here. New. Uh, let's call this distance. Uh, now let's set material here. Boom. And now let's do distance. All right. So you don't see anything, obviously. But now let's do attribute here and plug the color in. Oh, uh, I didn't see that before. And now distance, right distance here. It just finds it like magically, it's magic. Um, cool, so now you see it. All right, we're done. Uh, that's like, uh, it's pretty powerful for like this many nodes, right? No, we're not done, but uh, what we're gonna do now is, um, let's do, I always do that. Uh, join geometry, let's do that. So we have our plane. And we have the information now from like zero to one. So what we're going to want to do is create points, right? So distribute points on the face. And then you'll be able to see, hey, cool, we got a little points on the face. Okay, so uh, what you want to do now is grab this distance so we can like visualize it here. And then you can write equal or not equal or whatever, or less than, greater than, do less than. Um, plug this in right here, boom. And now uh, it's not working because it's zero. So just do, 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 dial it up a little, hey, there we go. It's working, amazing. Uh, you can clean it up after, I, I'm messy. So, uh, so we can just plug this in here. And then if you press N, oh, there you go. Uh, group, then be just name it like radius or whatever. Uh, do like a default of one so it works, and don't save it. Uh, I don't need to save it. Um, and now what you want to do is instead of points, you're gonna want to instance on points, and now you're gonna want to do the same thing where you do, you're gonna create a nice uh, uh, collection information. And what I do is I have a plugin 
that I just purchased, um, which is uh, Botanix. Bot Botanix? Yeah. Uh, create some little nice guys. Here you go. Boom, boom. There you go. Amazing. Uh, close, let's hide it. And now when we go back in here, we're going to click on the weed one. Oh my God, look at that. Uh, what's happening right now is you want to separate the children. Uh, pick, yes. So it's going to pick out of all of the ones in there. Yeah, and you want to click separate and relative. Because if it's original, I think it, uh, it usually messes up. I don't know, I always do relative. Uh, yeah, and that's pretty... That's pretty much it. Um, and like it works like on the go, right? So then you can click on it. You can add more or less. You can also do things where like now that you have your information uh, with this distance and you wanna do like scaling stuff, you can like do like a color ramp, right? And you can do, uh, let's add like a here. Let's do uh, size or like like weed size and write 420. No, I'm joking. Uh, just write like two or whatever. Multiply and slap that in here and slap that in there and it doesn't work um, because it's at zero. All right, so that's good. And then what you want to do is actually invert it. So like, let's make it the radius bigger. And you can start to see like the further it goes out. So you can play around with it and go crazy. Uh, and then like, so it's kind of boring right now. Uh, I forgot one thing, which is um, <clears throat> this can happen because the faces, you can see like here, the points here are the darkest, but they're still like mesh, uh, uh, sorry, there's still uh, flowers being spawned inside. So what you want to do, uh, I figured this way, maybe there's better ways to do it. Um, you want to do a ray trace, a ray cast, I mean, and you're going to get, uh, these objects and, uh, what it's going to do is like, look down to this, uh, material, uh, this object. Uh, so it's, you're going to get the hit distance. Uh, so you can see it if you do this. Just use that material um, and hide this so you can see it there. I think you can see it. Uh, so you can see it a bit better, actually, if I don't put it in the color ramp. Yeah. So you can see it there. Um, and then what we're going to do is uh, take this, right? So we we're just going to look at it. And what we have right now is this. Oops. We have this. So we're going to add the white here so it doesn't spawn. Um, so we're just going to move it over. Then do a mix RGB. I say mix. Huh. Mix RGB and then add that and then add that so I can control a little bit of it and put it in here and then put it in here. And actually, I want to put it in here. Uh, okay, uh, don't don't look at that. Sorry, that's my playing bad. Um, uh, 
console, put it there. Oh, that was because of this. Yeah, so now you can see it doesn't really spawn in the middle. Like you can, boop, if we've eliminated some of them. Um, you can play around with it to make it, maybe you want that, maybe you don't. Uh, yeah, it's true, because you can like actually hide these, right? Like let's say uh, you wanted moss or whatever, or, anything to grow in specific areas instead of painting it you can kind of control it with like these guys and then just like hide them when you render so maybe you don't want that but if you i feel like mostly objects you want it to populate around objects um and that's where maybe yeah well who knows uh so yeah with here you can like do two different um Usually what I do is like this, and I do like mix a shader together. I go boom, boom. And then I'll take this and slap it in here. And I always forget which one is, uh, so this is the bottom one. So like, let's say you do that. And then you can make this like green if you want to do that. And then you can figure it out, you can do like a color ramp. I'd probably put like some noise so it's procedural and like mix that in here or something. You know, you can go crazy and like make a proper material for that. Uh, also what you wanna do just to make it a bit better is if you put that collection and that collection in here and then just call it like weed or detect, whatever. And then that way, what you can do is, let's say you're like, eh, I don't want these. I can switch it up and in here put some new things instead. Okay, that's good. You know? And yeah. And even if you have different collections, you can just easily, easily switch between things and see it on the fly. So it's pretty cool. And that is it. Hope it helped.